Thank you very much for joining me on this Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. The big question, will this develop? Well, things on track from what we were talking about yesterday. So again, there's gonna be a ton of tropical waves that come off. I wanna get into that and we just take it again, tropical wave by tropical wave, storm by storm. A lot don't develop, some do. This one at this point is not showing signs of development and I'll show you why, but I'll show you why it is one to continue to watch as it moves into the Caribbean by the time we get into next week. Now let's just get right into the models. This is the European model, it's had a better handle on it and I'll talk about why. It's picking up on those environmental conditions a lot better, I'll show you those. Here is the coast of Africa, here's the tropical wave, Here's the Caribbean right here, Puerto Rico, Barbados, St. Lucia, Grenada, Trinidad, and Tobago. So Caribbean here, United States right here, you see Florida and the Bahamas. So taking you out in time, just kind of pulling forward. And by the way, that's spinning out there, that is Don. I'll get into that in a moment as well. This is by the time we get into Friday morning. And you see it here, this strong tropical wave still in the central Atlantic, off to the east of the Caribbean, not showing any rapid signs of development. Yes, it could develop, so that's why I wanna to continue to watch it, but I'm not seeing this thing quickly developing into a tropical storm or hurricane. Now, let me go out in time further. This is by this weekend into next week. Let me stop it by the time we get into Monday. This is Monday, and again, the European models had a good handle on this. Here it is right here. Now, some of the models have this as a hurricane at this point, but again, a lot of those are backing off on this. Uh, but again, as of now, that would be a strong tropical wave by next week. This would be by Monday, a blob of rain. And again, it could have some gustier winds and then working into the Caribbean by the time we get into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, bringing some of that rain right here across the Eastern Caribbean and then back into the Central Caribbean. So as of now, the European model is not developing it. Now, down the road, I've seen things change. This is way out in time. We're talking a week out in time. Eventually, as the tropical wave approaches the Caribbean, I need to keep an eye on the dry air, the dust, the wind shear, if everything relaxes, there is a chance it could develop, but at least over the next few days. I'm not seeing this becoming anything crazy. And what is interesting, what I was talking about yesterday was how the American model has been trending to the European model. The American model was showing this thing blowing up into a really strong hurricane down the road. Now it's more like the European model. Let me take you out on time. Here's the Caribbean, and again across the Atlantic. Look on Sunday, this is it here. Now if the American model were right all along, it would have already been a strong tropical storm at this point and uh, close to a hurricane. Not the case as of now though, strong tropical wave. And as I mentioned though, again, it could develop uh, as we get out in time. So I need to see how the environment kind of handles it. But you see here, this is by the time we get into Tuesday, just like the European model, that would bring some extra rain to parts of the Eastern Caribbean, and then eventually the Central Caribbean, but not as an organized system. But I still want to caution, as it gets closer to the Caribbean, I want to keep an eye on the dry air and the wind shear. Wind shear are winds in the opposite direction that come across, knock off the thunderstorms developing, that's a good thing. Wind shear prevents things from developing. With that said, if the wind shear really relaxes and there's not a lot of dry air around, on the flip side, that could give it a chance of it spinning up into a tropical storm. But again, that's how it stands now, a strong tropical wave that I'll monitor approaching the Caribbean as we go over the next week. So again, the GFS has totally changed. It was showing a crazy hurricane. Everyone was getting uh, excited in the wrong way on social media, which I do not like. It is what it is when it comes to weather. I do this channel just to let you know exactly what I'm seeing. I do it for safety, not trying to make something more than what it is. The European model has been keeping it relatively weak overall. And again, the GFS trending toward the European model. European model has been winning out. But as we get down the road, as I mentioned, six, seven days away, we need to see how things kind of evolve at that point. I'm watching things well down the line. I don't just watch the models. I need to see uh, kind of how the models are responding to what's going on in the environment. Speaking of which, looking at the dust right now, here's Jamaica 
Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Montserrat, uh, St. Bart's, and you can see this here, this orangey shading, that is the dust we're dealing with. And this tropical wave, this strong one, is moving into some of that dust, into some of the dry air, one of the reasons why it will struggle to develop, at least in the short term. Now I mentioned we're gonna do this a lot. Throughout the course of a hurricane season, even before the hurricane season, May all hurricane season starts June 1st, but the tropical waves start coming off in May. We get about 55 to 65 tropical waves coming off. So again, lots to watch, lots to track, but again, we don't get 65 hurricanes in a year. Most don't develop, but some do, and that's why I'm here to again track those to help keep you safe, to help keep property safe. Hurricane season ends. November 30th. So as far as the names go, again, we've had our lean Brett Cindy. There was an unnamed system in January that they went back and classified. That was up by Canada. Don is out there. I'll get to Don. The next name on the list, wherever that is in the Atlantic Basin, the next name will be Emily. But Don is still out there for days and days, Don has been there. There are the Azores North Atlantic, my good friends in Canada and across the United States, Bermuda over here. This spin right here, that is Don. Don is kind of doing its, its kind of curl as a tropical storm and then eventually getting into the cooler water and then down the road by early next week should kind of pull away in the North Atlantic and weekend. But I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Now back into the Caribbean, there's been a flare up. Again, been watching some of the moisture here. We had some rain and storms in parts of Jamaica yesterday. As expected, that panned out. We had some scattered storms. Not all of us got them. I know a lot more of us need them. And then again here, you see this blob here. We've been watching these tropical waves moving by. So Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, I'll see how this evolves throughout the day. We may get some scattered showers and storms uh, pooling in. Just kind of active overall back through the Eastern Caribbean. St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, watching a Martinique, Dominica, Barbados for that chance of rain. And you see it right here. This is today that chance of some rain, northern Guy Guyana, over toward northern Venezuela, and I'll dive into those forecasts in a second, but even over toward Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, a chance of some rain, scattered Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. By the way, there was an earthquake just offshore, Guatemala, El Salvador uh, yesterday, so you may have uh, felt that pretty sizable, over six in magnitude. Now, as we get into tomorrow, here's what's gonna happen. We start to get in between stuff. Still scattered showers, you see some around, spotty showers, again, hit or miss, Cuba, Cayman Islands, uh, Mexico, and again, I'll get into those specific forecasts, but as we get into the end of the week, things kind of relax in spots, which is not necessarily a good thing. You know, a lot of us are still trying to fill up the uh, cisterns. Uh, we've come off those water restrictions in spots from uh, all the uh, drought conditions we've had. And as a whole, a lot of us by Friday are going to be dry again, dusty again, and you know what that means. That also means super hot weather moving in. So heads up, the heat is really going to be building later this week. I just wanna caution that. I know that is, a, that is a big thing and we've been dealing with that. Eastern Pacific look, again, watching a flare up over here, but everything kinda of staying away from Mexico up through uh, even California. California, by the way, had a deal with the tropical system uh, last season. So keep an eye on everything. All right, Trinidad and Tobago today, again, with the activity around a 60% chance of the rain and storms today, a 50% chance for tomorrow. Grenada, a 60% chance today. I showed you the satellite and radar. Again, there's been some action around, so keep me posted in the comments. But as you can see, as we get down the road, the rain chance drops off. Same thing, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Tomorrow, Friday, rain chance about 30, 40%, and that means hotter. St. Lucia today, a 40 to 50% chance of rain. Now, we've had some in spots already, but by Friday, we're trending drier and hotter. That's what I was mentioning, kind of a, a break in some of the uh, action around, but that's also a big concern with that heat building. Barbados passing shower storms as we go over the next couple of days. Dominica, a 40% chance today, but a 20 to 30% chance tomorrow. Aruba, rain chance staying limited, 10 to 20% chance of a shower. Curacao and Bonaire, about a 20 to 30% chance of a passing shower. And we've had a few the last few days, definitely not as many as we need. 
Guyana, rain chance a bit higher today. Northern sections, a 50% chance. As we get back toward Belize, scattered showers and storms tomorrow and Friday. Western Caribbean, scattered showers still around. While on Friday, the Eastern Caribbean, we see that drop off. Costa Rica by Friday, rain chance goes back up. We've had a reprieve, a little break in some spots, but the rain chance is going to be shooting up. Scattered showers and storms around again. Still not all day stuff for Jamaica. We have a 40% chance for tomorrow. Cayman Islands holding at about a 30 to 40% chance the next few days. Haiti, a better chance today. I showed you again that rain that's just to the south. Scattered showers and storms possible today, but then we dry out and it gets very, very hot. Can't caution that enough. That's going to be the same thing. Haiti, Dominican Republic, through the uh, Virgin Islands, Dominican Republic. Again, watching some showers and storms. Now, southern sections, it's a bit higher than 30%. So I'm keeping an eye on that rain just to the south. So again, a higher chance southern end of the Dominican Republic today. 20% chance of some showers and storms tomorrow and Friday. But again, some passing ones today in Puerto Rico. So keep me posted. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, about a 20% chance. And again, turning hotter later this week. Northern Venezuela, a little uptick tomorrow. Rain chance about 40 to 50% uh, tomorrow. Bahamas, again, uh, seeing some of the showers and storms that have kind of been pulling off of Florida. And again, some of those will be passing by. Turks and Caicos, rain chance remains remains limited, 20%. St. Kitts and Nevis, about a 30 to 40% chance today. And then again, rain chance going down as we swing through the end of the week. Same thing, Guadalupe and Martinique, a 40 to 50% chance today, but by Friday, down to a 20% chance. Anguilla, about a 30% chance today, 20% chance for tomorrow. Antigua and Barbuda, not a whole lot. If we get some rain over toward Antigua, again, a passing shower. St. Martin, Saba, Stacia, same thing, holding at about a 20 to 30% chance the next few days. So I'm tracking that strong tropical wave that is now off the coast of Africa. I got you covered on that. You can see that I'm watching everything on that, not just a model here or there. I know some other channels do that, but again, I've been doing this for decades. And again, I'm watching everything out there in the environment uh, to you know see what kind of has a better handle on this. So I've got you covered with that. I'm watching the dry air, the dust, and the shear that is around that will be playing into that forecast. Uh, Don spitting the North Atlantic, uh, and then again, more dust moving in later this week and being mindful of some of that heat. So thank you very much for being part of this weather community. It is for you. We do this together. I hope you have a good rest of your day.